Yeah, what's poppin', man? We out here right now on Melrose. You can see the people are out here. We're going to the Daylight Barracuda. The dance starting. Swag. Follow me. What's going on? This is TK. Um, I'm actually doing this interview. Shout out to Nelson for Dead Stock Swagger. You guys may have seen me doing an interview over there. Um, and I wanted to talk about some of the stories that I think in LA to make a real big impact. And um, we're at one right now. The story is called De La Barracuda. This is Stephanie, one of the owners. Say hi to everybody out there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, if you're not from LA, um, De La Barracuda, I'll just say Barracuda, has a very interesting point in the history of streetwear in LA. That one of the first spots that were on Melrose. Um, shout out to Dime at Brooklyn. These guys were right there. It was actually the first place I went in LA to buy some Evisus and y 3 So it was the only place that you could go that wasn't in the mall to get fly. And y 3s back then were kind of like how Yeezys are now. It was the first fusion of like sneakers and high fashion. So that to me is a very important part of where streetwear is at. And you guys were pretty much at the forefront. But that was a little bit before your time with the company. Do you want to go over kind of like the beginnings of it? And I know you guys started actually across the street in the early 2000s. You want to kind of speak on the company's history? So the brand, it hopped around. This is our third location. We just opened like, I believe in March. And right now we're building the brand back up. I mean, it's always been alive. It's known everywhere. So we've come out with like long teeth and just whatever people wear these days, we try and update ourselves with. <laughs> So, you guys were traditionally streetwear. Yes. Do you still consider yourself streetwear? What do you see the brand at right now in 2015? I mean, we started as a skateboard brand, and then we built it into streetwear. So now we're actually opening the store up to more of like everything. We have everything from streetwear to women's to kids. We have casual tees. We have button-ups, more dressy shirts. We're trying to get more variety in. Yo, this is, I gotta show you guys this. This is hard body. This is way. This is this is incredible. We said this was made in Taiwan. Yes. One of the business. And you guys actually speak on that. You actually have um, international locations. Yes. We we sell Barracuda at Juice in Japan, and we also have a factory in Taiwan that makes clothes for us. And you also do stuff um, made in LA as well, correct? Yes. And um, what do you? You have the champion shorts mm -hmm. that we'll get into a little later. Um, you have the kids wear, like you said, um, snapbacks, uh, the five panels, beanies. So what do you think, um, what is the average customer right now? Because I know we're kind of in a tourist area. Is it more people from out of the country, out of state, a lot of locals, or is it a combination of all? There's a lot of tourists, but majority of them are from out of country, most okay. likely. So like every time a customer comes in, a lot of them, like I'll ask them, like, oh, are you from LA or not? And we get customers from Switzerland, like Afghanistan, and like anywhere in the, oh, around wow. the world. So it's like, it's crazy because you think like from around the U.S., but majority of them are from out of country and they all come in with different accents. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy. So I want everybody, first of all, to know, um, I'm actually here. We're doing an event with them. Um, you want to tell them about the, uh, the event is August 29th with Raven Sorvino. Uh, Stephanie's gonna, you know, she kind of brought us in here. Um, I have a lot of respect for the brand and what you guys do. Um, I know you're not used to, you're the brains and you do design. Um, what are you kind of looking at as far as fashion for Barracuda, maybe at the end of 2015, going into 2016? Well, I'm trying to build it up um, more streetwear. Kind of, we have a lot of the LA, it's really popular with the tourists, but we want to get more dressier clothes, button ups. More of the stuff that's in style, what people wear, more skater stuff, bring that back. And just a little bit of everything for everyone, just so that when people come in, there's stuff for the wives, the children, just, their, just themselves. Everything. Any event you want to go to, like we just want to have everything covered, but have them look good. And that's <laughs> dope. Logo. That's dope. Now, um, now, we've kind of went into everything. Where can you, if I want to reach you online, where do I go? Online, we have a website at delabarracuda.com. We have Instagram, delabarracuda.la. Our Twitter is delabarracuda as well. And Facebook? 
Facebook, Barracuda Shop. Okay. There it is. Any anything in um, passion you want to give out to everybody? Any shout outs or anything? Say what's up to Miguel, the creator of the brand, the brand, the logo, and everything. Yeah, Miguel was yeah, dope. That's it. So there you go. You heard it. If you're in LA, um, you can do it.